Welcome back to my channel. This is Joey Plays and Build, and today we're gonna play and build an aviary in the outback. But before we get into the build, here's something that I cooked up a little just just right now, like let's say a last minute thing. But I used the monorail as some sort of a ceiling for this structure over here. So the point is that you could do as many creative ways with the monorail glitch. So hopefully it does give you some sort of ideas, um, build your own little little thing, you know. But yeah, we got ourselves an entrance. So we're going to focus on this part right here. And this is where we're going to have our aviary with some lovely prehistoric flying reptiles. So without further ado, let's get started into the build. finally got what I wanted it turns out I gotta rotate the amphitheater instead but here's what I'm thinking we're gonna have pterosaurs flying reptiles inside and outside of the aviary hopefully they'll stay in their area here I'm gonna add their water and their food source anyway so they have a reason if they do fly over the amphitheater at least they have a reason to come back because their food source is and our water source i believe is right here so yeah this is going to be the plan i'm still gonna figure out how we're gonna attach the monorail here so maybe we're just gonna yeah maybe the monorail will just stick around here and then we'll just have something going here to to attract the guests i think that will be the plan anyways let's continue with the build so we are gonna have pterosaurs flying outside and inside of the aviary and most likely they're going to fly outside of the amphitheater so i have to build some things for them to attract them back into the amphitheater we're gonna build a habitat outside of the avia which i'm gonna do right now and we're also going to have some attractions for our guests to see our pterosaurs at first i was going to use the log then i realized the amphitheater is already a viewing gallery itself so we don't need a viewing gallery there we do need some viewing attractions inside the aviary so i have three which is the gyrosphere we're gonna have a log and we're gonna have a viewing dome we're gonna go crazy today <laughs> and here is the habitat that i'm going to build just in case if the pterosaurs fly over the amphitheater which i doubt they do i don't know i'm gonna test that out if they're gonna fly over the amphitheater if they cannot fly over the amphitheater then i'm going to add some pterosaurs there anyway because i built that habitat just right there so we're gonna we're gonna test everything all out but hopefully hopefully the point is that the pterosaurs are only going to stay in that area And voila, we have ourselves the entrance into the aviary. Three attractions, actually four attractions. The amphitheater is an attraction itself. We got a habitat right over here. So let's continue in building the habitat right inside the amphitheater. So for the amphitheater, we're going to add much rocks as possible the first thing i do is using the paintbrush and i think i only use the paintbrush i'm not going to use too much foliage just because of what happened in the spinosaurus habitat where we can't even see anything because there's a lot of foliage in the way so i'm going to use the palm trees as my paintbrush and just going to add rocks a variety of rocks the mediterranean is probably my favorite i, I use it too much we're gonna have the desert and we're gonna have the temperate and we're also going to build right in the middle of the aviary a little beach area for our pterosaur so 
I, I think multiple of uh, pterosaurs into this habitat. Okay, so here's what I have so far. We have a habitat, we have entrance, and three attractions. The gyrosphere, the viewing log, and the viewing dome. The viewing log and the viewing dome is going to be inside the apiary. And of course, we have the amphitheater, which is another viewing attraction as well. And uh, to say to say, it is a better viewing. So hopefully the, we, the guests can see the pterosaurs. We got ourselves a lovely beach area here. However, I felt like the 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 guests would not probably not gonna see that but that's kind of like a little private area for our pterosaurs okay so now we're gonna build the inside of the aviary with the same decorations that we have building the outside Now the only two pterosaurs that I have right now is the Pteranodon and the Sundaricthrus. I'm going to add more pterosaurs down the line and as I expected they do fly away from their area but they should be flying back into the area because their food sources is only in this area. But I do like how they can fly freely without interrupting the guests. It just makes your park lively. Other than that, that is the inside of the aviary build. Okay, I think it's pretty good, but I felt like we still need a little bit more. Let's add a little bit more extra stuff. How about right in the back, we could add more hotels, right? Yeah, let's see. Let's test that out. Let's 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 see how that goes. And the final part of the build is the hotel and some amenities just to attract guests here and there's kind of some sort of like the resting area here. And of course, pterosaurs were flying roamly, so we need their resources as well. And here, this is where I just play around with some of the decorations that we have in the game. However, I, I need to mix and match some of the hotels. The Biosyn Hotel is a really cool design. And of course, the Mediterranean one that looks like a, some sort of castle, I believe. I need to start using more of different types of hotels. Uh, my good friend Mark Zilla from Instagram actually gave me an idea of you you know customizing your hotels. We can customize shops and restaurants. Why not hotels? You know, change the colors or the designs. For me personally, I want more customization signs. What you guys think? Anyways, I felt like we are done with this habitat, and I do appreciate you guys. For sticking with me and hopefully you guys get a little inspired by it um, that that's my goal is to inspire your guys and just build your wonderful parks as well do follow me on Instagram the same Joey plays and build and I do I do encourage you guys to DM me some of your builds I do have a lot of messages that you guys send me your bills and you guys are very inspirational you guys are you guys are better than me <laughs> that's what i'm gonna say but please do i do love to get inspired by your guys build anyways i think this is it for me like the habitat if you guys like it subscribe to see more builds and i'll see you guys in the next build thank you guys for watching
to bring the world's greatest